Mark here from Talking Bass. So of all the bass riff breakdowns that I've had on the channel, I've only ever featured the lines of the late great Cliff Burton from Metallica a couple of times. So today I'm going to give you some advice on a riff that many people find difficult to play for many reasons. Fight Fire with Fire from the Ride the Lightning album. It's one of Metallica's fastest tunes, but the biggest challenge doesn't actually come from the physical hurdles. It's the rhythm and placement of the accents that are more likely to give you the most problems. So I'm going to break it down for you and give you some important tips on getting it up to speed. As always, the tab and drum tracks are all there over at TalkingBass.net. Just click on that link in the info below. Also like the video, subscribe to the channel and leave a comment below. Then also remember to check out the Talking Bass app on both iOS and Android. The app provides a more streamlined, mobile-friendly way of accessing all the bass resources over at the website. And it's also the perfect way to access your Talking Bass courses away from the desktop. Just log in with your existing Talking Bass account or sign up for free and gain access to all the practice resources, lessons and networks working features like the forums and groups. There are well over 100,000 members already signed up to Talking Bass, so check it out on iOS or Android. It's totally free with content added all the time. Okay, first let's have a listen to the riff that we're going to be working on. It's the opening riff from Fight Fire with Fire. It's 186 beats per minute and it sounds like this. So first let's just work through the notes in there. Now some of you might be thinking, hmm, that doesn't really sound like fight fire with fire. You know, when you listen to the guitar riff, that opening guitar riff on there, you've got that digga 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 then. It's all consistent 16th notes. But if you listen to the Cliff Burton isolated bass track on YouTube, you can hear there that instead of, instead of constant 16th notes, we've got, we've got this gallop going on. So I'll talk about why he does this a little bit later on, but first let's just work through the notes. So we start on an open E string, we're in E minor, and we have two eighth notes, one and. Then we've got these two sixteenth note, eighth note gallop rhythm. So we've got, so we're gonna have two open E's, and then we're gonna hit the G at the third fret of the E string. So, and you can see here that I'm using three finger picking. So for the first two notes, I'm just, two finger picking, and then for the gallop, I've got three, two, one, or ring, middle, index, so, so. Next, we'll repeat all of that rhythm, but this time, instead of, instead of the G there, we're gonna be two E's and an F sharp, the second fret, so. Okay, so all of that bar. For the second bar, we start the same as the first. So those open E's and the G. Then we come down. So we've got two of the gallops. So it's gonna be three E and, four E and, and each time it's two open E's. We have the F sharp there, second fret of the E string, and then, then the first fret of the E string. So. So that creates that descending line working back down. And that's the riff, so let's just try all of that together. So three and four and. So that's the riff played really, really slowly and obviously you've just got to build up speed until you get to 186 beats per minute, which is easier said than done. But before we get to that point, it's worth mentioning a few things. So. First of all, it's worth noting that live, Cliff didn't play that gallop. He just stick to straight eighth notes. So you can, you know, you can have a look on uh, on YouTube and see videos of him playing this. He doesn't play all the same stuff. Um, so instead of this, he'd be playing this. So that's a straight half-time version of what the guitar's playing, okay? So instead of playing 16th notes, we're playing 8th notes all the way through, no gallop. Now, I think the reasons for this are twofold. One, Metallica like to play this tune live faster than the original. That makes for some pretty hard work in the picking hand, but more importantly, it also sounds better. If you've not seen my breakdown of battery yet, I talk about how Cliff plays straight eighth notes rather than doubling the 16th note guitar riff gallop. It makes for a warmer bottom end and a better groove. 
I suspect he took the gallop out of this to improve the live sound and avoid all that clanky mess at a high speed. I also talk about this in my breakdown of Raining Blood by Slayer. So now let's have a look at the rhythmic problems we're going to have here. Now if we focus on just listening to the riff for a second, most people are likely to hear it with accents on the downbeats. So counting it, you're likely to hear this with a heavy accent on three. So if I just play it with the eighth notes instead of the sixteenth notes, you might hear it more like this. One and two and three and What we actually have here is offbeat or upbeat accents. That heavy accent that you might be hearing on three is actually on the and of two, which sounds like this. The reason it's easy to find yourself on the wrong side of the pulse is because of the drum beat. We tend to hear the heavy accent of the snare on the beat rather than the off beats. So we hear this chick 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 instead of this bunk chick bunk chick bunk chick bunk chick bunk chick. So here's the riff again with straight eighth notes and have a listen to the descent when we have the final note in there, the F, is on the eighth note before beat one. So it's on the and of four. So have a listen. One and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and. Okay, so it's before beat one. One and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four, etc. And that's the reason why people find this riff tricky, because you end up hearing that F on beat one instead of the and of four. So, as a tip in getting this rhythm down, try placing that high E there at the second fret of the uh, of the D string. Try playing that on beat one, which gives us this. Okay, so after the F, hit that high E, so. Okay, so that gives you more, uh, well, you keep your bearings with beat one a lot better. So when we hear the riff played like this really slowly with the obvious offbeat accents, it sounds more like a groovy light rock tune than an all-out speed metal blitz. So let's have a listen to how that sounds with the, uh, with the track at 146 beats per minute. All these tracks are over at the website, so you just uh, click the link in the info below. So, with the high E. Okay, and now let's play it without that high E, so... Okay, so like I said, the drum tracks are all there over at Talking Bass. There's 146, 166, and full speed 186. And I would um, advise you on getting the riff down with this live version first, you know, don't bother putting the gallops in to begin with, just play the, uh, the straight eighth notes. So let's have a listen to that at 166 beats per minute. <laughs> okay, and now let's try 186 beats per minute. Okay, so now let's add those gallops into the mix. So we're going to be using three fingers, and in terms of the technique, there's not much to say really. Just, you know, play like you would with two and just bring that ring finger into play, pulling into the thumb as you would with the index and middle. So here's two finger picking. I've got that thumb there locked on the, uh, on the pickup, and then with three. Okay, so I'm just bringing that third finger in. And most of you, if you're not used to it, you know, obviously just like, like with two finger picking, you'll probably get a blister for a while because you'll have weak skin on there. But, you know, just persevere and you'll get a nice strong finger. So the gallops lead into each of the fretted notes. So that's one way to look at this. So without the gallops, with the gallops, So 
So you just have to work that up to speed. Start out really, really slow and just gradually build up the speed. Don't rush it because your rhythm's all going to go to, you know, it's all going to get messy. Just take your time. And if you can't play it, you know, if you start getting all sloppy, just slow it back down. Start again. So now let's try all those backing tracks out with the gallop. So first of all, 146 beats per minute. Next, let's try a little quicker. Let's try 166 beats per minute. Okay. And now let's try full speed, 186 beats per minute. Okay, so that's the main riff from Fight Fire with Fire. Obviously, there's more to the song than just that riff, but once you have that riff under your fingers and you can feel those accents correctly, the rest of the song won't be too difficult to learn. If you want to see any other riffs from that song, just let me know in the comments. Remember, the lesson material and tracks are all there over at Talking Bass. Just click the link in the info below. Also, be sure to subscribe to the channel and sign up to the Talking Bass Network and membership to gain access to a massive community of like-minded bass players and a ton of bass practice resources and downloads. Okay, I'll see you next week.